Hello everyone and welcome to another MPI for Python for Parallel Programming, Supercomputing, and High Performance Computing. Where we left off, you were shown how you could dynamically use size and the modulo to send and receive data from a dynamic set of nodes rather than hard coding. Uh, in this video, I want to show you guys a couple of things. One is just an extension of what we mean by when you pass objects between um, nodes and like why this is so powerful with uh, MPI. And then also in the same video, I'd like to show you guys tagging of messages. Uh, so you can, tagging kind of goes along with dynamics because uh, what happens when you decide you want to send multiple messages per node? Uh, so to do that, and maybe like multiple messages per node to a same node. Uh, so this is where tagging comes, uh, comes into play. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Again, just the same stuff that we always pretty much type here. So from MPI for pi import MPI uh, com equals MPI dot com underscore world rank equals com dot rank and size equals com dot size. We're not going to bother with the name for now. If rank equals zero, so if this is the master node, we're going to say shared, and this is what I mean. So instead of our normal uh, passing, let's pass a dictionary into here. And so for that, we'll say, I don't know, the first value is D1. It corresponds to 55. And the next value is D2, which corresponds to a 42, of course. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to say con.send. And we want to send shared and we want the destination for this to be 1. Then we'll come down here if rank equals 1, receive equals com.recv. <clears throat> what do we want to receive? Oops. Source equals 0. Next, uh, let's print receive. And just to show you guys uh, that this is indeed an object coming in, we'll say we'll print receive uh, and We'll just print out D1, right? So this should say this should print out, you know, this dic the full dictionary, and then D1. It will just print 55. Okay, so we'll save that, and let me uh, use SCP now and drag this over. Okay, and now let's go ahead and run seven, seven, hit enter. And sure enough, what we get is the full dictionary and it prints out the number 55. So that's just to show you guys a little bit uh, more concrete example of um, the objects. Next, what we want to do or what I want to show you guys is tagging. So what if like we want to send two messages? So I'll just copy this, paste, share two, uh, and we'll make this a 25 and this a 22. What if we do just this first? Let's let's see what happens there. So let's transfer this stuff over. Come down here. Okay. So as you can see, we ended up only getting the first message, not the second message. So it would appear that maybe it goes in order. So let's try to receive both. So first it receives only the first message and it prints it out. Now let me go ahead and uh, oh you know what let's see let me see actually let's go back there and see if it went in, if it did go in order um, so 4255 uh, was the numbers it spit out on us right so it did indeed go with the first shared and just for kicks let's make this D3 and D4 and now let's just print and receive as well. So now what we want to do is now we're going to say, uh, let's just copy this right here, this line. Copy, come down here, paste, and that's receive two. And we're going to go ahead and also print receive two. Save, and let's move this over. And come back to putty. Oh. And here you see we have D2, let's see, do we do, let's come back out here, make sure we did what we wanted to do here. Shared to, okay, yeah, so we are indeed actually sending the incorrect version here. So let's do this. Um, and now let me do this one more time, because that wasn't what I expected. So <laughs> save, uh, and let me transfer this over. 
So down here over shared two, when we were sending, we weren't we uh, at least I didn't maybe some smarties did, but I forgot to edit that. So now let's come back over to putty, hit the up arrow. Okay, so now you can see that we we only uh, we get the first message, but not the second message. So back here, um, but when we do this, we'll get both messages hopefully this time. Okay, so one, two, three, four. For whatever reason, it flips them around, but it's still the you know the proper object with the same param or the same uh, properties. But what if we wanted to we wanted to receive this message second, but this message first? Well, there's really no good way to do that right now. Also, what if we don't know the order that these will come out, but we have very specific you know needs for the result of shared and we have very specific needs for the result of shared too well then what you can do is you can use uh, tag so we're gonna use tag equals one on this message and then tag equals two on this message so when we, we can do the same thing down here for receive we want to receive tag one and this we want to receive tag two now we should notice no difference here since we went with the same order. Sure enough, we got the same, um, the same order there. But what we can do now, though, is we can switch these around. So we say, here we want to receive the message tagged to first. And that's going to correspond to receive. And then with receive to, we want to correspond to tag one, which is shared. right? So we this is how you can specify uh, if you're not positive in the order that the messages are going to come through, which usually you're not going to be positive in that order, um, you're going to want to use this tag um, parameter. So now uh, we save this. I can't remember if I moved it over, so I'll move it over one more time. And this time we should get shared two first and then shared one. So it'll say like D2, D1, D4, D3, hopefully. Oh. And sure enough, now we can see that we did indeed get the you know correct ordering. So hopefully that helps some of you guys understand what might happen if you wanted to have multiple variables. You didn't know the time frame, but and you're going to have a, more of a higher level of uh, dynamics to everything. Uh, this is how you can start to use tags to tag the message, uh, so you have more more to it, right? Because you send shared. Um, but it comes through the other end, not as shared. It comes through the other end as whatever you specify that reception, um, that received um, message. So anyways, uh, that's going to conclude this video. Hopefully that was helpful for you, some of you guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.